everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at set 75318, The Child, aka our lovable Grogu. Now this set retails at about 80 US dollars and we're going to be looking into whether or not this set is worth the money. I'm going to tell you right now, yes, yes it is worth the money. <laughs> As you can see, we have a really nice display set here. He even comes with a UCS plaque, which is really exciting because I'm pretty sure this is one of the cheaper UCS sets that you can get. Take a look at that. It comes with some really nice details, and of course you get your little minifigure Grogu. The child is just a little bit over a thousand pieces and is recommended for children ages 10 and up. So we're just going to move our little plaque to the side and focus on Grogu. Now Grogu was a relatively simple build. He is Technic based so on the inside you do have four pillars of Technic pieces. I'll give you guys a peek as to what that looks like but I'll save you the trauma of watching me pull his limbs from his body. There you go, that's certainly not very pretty but <laughs> that's what you're getting into when you buy this set. And I did actually prefer having this Technic base as opposed to having to build up each layer of blocks as we went because that would be a lot of pieces and cost a lot of unnecessary money. Now I'm gonna fix this because it's disturbing. Oi. What piece did I just pull off? Where do you go? Here, I'm sure. Right there. Not a playset. And it should snap right into place. Not super easy. I did have trouble doing this the first time. But there you go. Back in one piece. Sorry for casting my shadow over him. But anyway, that is the inside of Grogu. Now before we get into the other features of the set, we're gonna just talk about the outward look of him. He's wearing his robes or his sack as he does in the show The Mandalorian, and I think it looks very accurate. It has a lot of flow, it's not plain. If I move him around, you can see all the detail all the way around. His hood around the top is a little bit thicker. He's got curves where the robe is wrapped around his little body. I mean, it's hard to make a sack look really detailed, you know, and that is essentially what he wears. So by my standards, his little brown robe, it looks great. Now on to our little green friend. He does have three fingers just like the character does in the show. You can move them around a little bit. His other palm does move up and down. His fingers also move. You can see he's holding the shift knob from the show and it does have that blue stud to hold it into place which I like because that's exactly what the one looks like. I just wish that it was actually printed on the top as opposed to the stud used to stick it into place like that. Ah! Oh, geez. Again, not a playset. Where did you go? Oh, it's all falling apart. Oh my, ah! <laughs> Clearly I'm still learning how to do this. This is what the inside of the shift knob looks like. And it's just encased by these two gray pieces. Goes on like so, easy fix. And we gently put it back in his palm. We're okay. So I don't know if I've said it yet, but this is not a playset. He's not a doll that you want your kids to run around the house with. He's definitely more of a decoration, as is shown by me already having broken him two times. But anyway, now we're gonna look into the design of his head. I think the overall shape of his head is pretty good. It's not quite as round as I would have liked. I think that's the problem that most people have with this set, is just that the shape of his head is a little bit flat. This seems to be a problem that a lot of people have when designing this figure. I mean, <laughs> I'll pull out my Grogu plushie. He also has a very flat head. I don't know, this is definitely worse. <laughs> I honestly don't consider it as huge of a problem as other people do though. They certainly could have added a couple extra. I mean, there's, you know, there's places for studs to go on top here. They certainly could have added a couple extra round pieces. But honestly, it's not a huge issue because overall he still looks really good. The other problem people have with this set are the eyes. I have heard time and time again by people, don't get this set, he looks creepy. No, he doesn't, he looks really cute. I think in photos and videos he might look a little bit creepy. Like maybe he looks like he's staring into your soul right now, so I'm sorry. There is some brown printed around his eyes. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the video, but in person it's very apparent. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I find this set really adorable. I have him perched up on my desk next to my Wally. He's got this cute little button nose. His mouth can open and you can see he's got some red there. Don't open it all the way because that does look weird. I just keep it open enough so that he looks like he's got a little smile and his ears are really mobile which is like my favorite part. You can have him looking really happy or you can have him looking really sad and you can close his mouth and he's frowning because he's really hungry. See that looks cute. You can't tell me this doesn't look cute but I'll fix him up so he looks happy again because we all like Grogu better that way. He does have a lot of mobility in his head. As you can see, you can move it back and forth a little bit. It can tilt from side to side, forward and backward. Helps you kind of stage him in whatever expression you want him to be in. 
I like to have him kind of looking up like that because that's the Grogu image that we all get from the show. And he just looks really sweet. So that is what you're getting into when you buy this set. If you like more colorful sets, this is definitely not for you. I mean, it's really, it's basically just the two colors, you know? As much as I love the Mandalorian and as much as I love Grogu, I did find this build to be a little bit boring. I had the TV on, that helped. It's always fun to build Lego, but when you're building all these brown pieces, it can get a little bit confusing. I know I did make a lot of mistakes myself, and that might have been just because my full attention wasn't on it. At the end of the day, I'm definitely happy I got him. Again, he's so cute, and I love to look at him. Not to mention it's really exciting that he's technically my first UCS set. You can argue that he's not, but... I got a plaque, so. If you're wondering how big he is, I'll do a little size comparison. If you've got a Wally, here's him with his buddy Wally. If you've got the newest 2021 TIE Fighter, here's him with the TIE Fighter. If you've got a box of chocolates, here's him with the only box of chocolates he'll care about. And if none of that is helpful, then he's about seven and a half inches tall. So there you go, that is the child, that's little Grogu. I said it in the beginning and I'll say it again, I highly recommend you pick up this set while it's still on shelves. I think he's adorable. If you like him, don't listen to anyone who says that he's creepy because he's not. I'm here to tell you he's not. I mean, compare the set to the buildable Yoda that we get. I mean, that set is... Yikes, it's frightening. If you're gonna get one, definitely get the cuter one. And again, given the piece count, I really think you're getting your money's worth. I mean, over a thousand pieces for just $80 and a really cute set, I think he's worth it. Plus, you can get yourself a pal for your Wally if you have one. So that's it, guys. I really hope you found this review helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, whatever your heart desires. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.